Abby Lee Miller marked the four-year anniversary of losing her mobility to cancer on social media. Today, April 13th is the anniversary of the last time I walked, the 56-year-old captioned a close-up shot of her face. The dance mom's Alan and convicted fraudster said she was in Europe with pain as she made it to the doctor's office and then to an MRI across the street, adding that she had to be removed from the magnetic resonance imaging scanner after 15 minutes as her arms and legs began playing without the control of them. Miller said her health declined rapidly and that she was admitted to the hospital, where she claimed she was ignored by the medical staff. Over the next 24 hours my blood pressure dropped to 23 over 17, my kidneys started to fail, and I became paralyzed from the neck down, she wrote, going on to say it was too late to transfer her and that an emergency surgery had to be performed. I've never walked on my own again, the means of the former reality star, who has used the wheelchair to get around ever since. Despite the physical and emotional hardship she has endured since that day, Miller found a negative positivity in the unfortunate anniversary. It is only the fitting that today I've done the final footage on my very own documentary talking about everything that happened to me. And to you soon. Thank you all for your continued care and support. It was after her operation on what was thought to be an infected spine that the Abbey Lee Downs Company founder was diagnosed with liver lymphoma, a rare but highly aggressive B cell non Hodgkin lymphoma that can affect the jaw, central nervous system, bowel, kidneys, ovaries, and other organs, according to the Lymphoma Research Foundation. She underwent another emergency surgery two months later and began chemotherapy treatments after that. Her health woes were famously preceded by a myriad of legal ones. In July 2017, Miller began her 366-day prison sentence for felony bankruptcy fraud. She was released early in March 2018 and served the remainder of her sentence at a halfway house. Due to her health concerns, she was released from the halfway house in 2018.